Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to evaluate a 4x4 determinant using properties of determinants. Okay, let's look at the solution. We are given this 4x4 determinants. So, what we're going to do now, maybe we observe that in the second row, that common factor is 2. So, maybe I can factor out a 2 first. So when I take out common factor, the determinant is multiplied by 2 now. So we get 1, 0, minus 1, 3, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 4, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 5, 1. So this is still a 4 by 4 determinant. Except the second row, I have factor out a 2. Alright. Now I want to create a zero after leading one. So based on this information, what I can do now is simply I take the first row times minus one. So I can do this operation now. First row times minus one. Add to the second row. So I create a zero just below the leading one. And this will give me the determinant will not change when I do, do this operation. First row remain unchanged. Second row will become 0, first row times minus 1, add to second row, 1, first row times minus 1, add to second row, first row times minus 1, add to second row, and then the third row, no change, the fourth row, no change. So I create a 0 just below a leading one. Alright, so I have managed to create a 0 now. Next, I want to create the 1 into 0 below it. Okay, so my aim now is to create this one, make it to zero. So I'm gonna use the first row. So I take the first row times the minus one, then add it to the third row. By doing so, determinants remains unchanged. Determinant will not change when you multiply a row by a number, add to another row. So therefore, the determinant become one, zero, minus one, three, zero, one, one, minus three, and then 0 now, right? First row times minus 1, add to the third row, is still 0. Minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus minus 1, again minus 4. And the fourth row remain the same. So I have managed to have a new third row now. Notice that I have third first column 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So I can do the expansion. So I can do the expansion that this is equal to 2 times the expansion by selecting the first column as span. So I, when I select the first column as span, I, I'm going to get, get after strike on the first row and first column, I'm going to get this is equal to 2 times 1 times the determinant of 1, 1, minus 3, 0, 5, minus 4, 1, minus 5, 1, by selecting the first column and expand. So I'm actually using the cofactor expansion. So this method is the cofactor expansion here now of determinant, right? Cofactor expansion. The element multiplied by cofactor, only the first row, first column, what you'll need. Then afterwards, I have these two times 1, 1, minus 3, 0, 5, minus 4, 1, minus 5, 1. So I can do some row operation by creating a 0 below, make this 1 0. So I can take the first row times minus 1, then add to the third row again. And this will give me 2 times first row remain unchanged, second row remain unchanged. That row becomes 0 now. 1 times minus 1 add to that row. 1 times minus 1 add to that row again minus 6. 3 minus 3 times minus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So I'm going to have this determinant. So after I got this determinant already, so I can use the expansion again. Cofactor expansion again. Right? Cofactor expansion again. So I use 1 times the cofactor and the rest are 0 which does not concern me. So this is equal to 2 times 1 times the cofactor will be this one, which is 
5, minus 4, minus 6, 4. By using the first column as my expansion, then notice that this you can use a 2 by 2 determinant. A, B, C, D is A, D minus B, C. So this is 5 times 4 minus minus 6 times minus 4, which is 20 minus 24 times 2, we get minus 8. So therefore, the determinant is minus 8 now. Now we can verify this answer by using a calculator. So let me call out my calculator and show you the working in the beginning. So calculator, and then I say execute. I now enter the metric A now, so I say this has four row and four column. Execute. Now I enter an entry one, zero, minus one, three in the first row, two, two, zero, zero in the second row, one, zero, four, minus one in the third row, zero, one, minus five. 1 in the 4th row. After I finish entering the metric, press exit, get out, press exit again. I want to do some metric multiplication. The command is option. And then I want to do something to do with metric, so I press F2 for metric. Since I evaluate determinant, so F3 for determinant. Then determinant of metric A, F1 for metric, then alpha A. So press execute and say the answer is minus 8 as we had computed earlier. That's the end of the recording.